I mean, Carol Malone, this is the problem our country's in, isn't it? Because these lefty lawyers would rather do everything possible to get a terrorist back you know, here. They are, these lawyers are saying that she was groomed before she left here. I'm sorry, people have forgotten. She left here at a time, she was 15 years old, she left here at a time that we were seeing on television in this country beheadings, people being set fire to in cages. We knew ISIS were doing it, we saw them brandishing the knife, and then we saw what they did. So those girls were 15 years old, and they knew exactly what they were going to join. And, and anyone who says that they, they were groomed, at 15 you're not stupid, you're not a child, you can say that on TV and you know what's wrong. And yet still they went anyway and they made their own way there. This this girl joined a death cult. Not only did she join it, you know, she was actually sweeping up the severed heads while she was there. Mm. There are rumours that she was recruiting people, that she was involved in all of that. And, and, the, and the trouble, you know, the, the courts are talking about um, her being trafficked. This is not about trafficking. This is about a threat to national security. And our security services are saying saying she is still a threat. The former boss of our, our, our security service, a guy called Neil Basso, he said returning women jihadis are a huge threat to this country. Whitehall officials have said exactly the same thing. Everyone is saying these girls are dangerous and we're supposed to believe her. When she was first um, brought to the Syrian camp, she did not denounce ISIS for at least a year. No. She was saying how... Quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. And she, it was only when she realised that by denouncing them, she would actually yeah, yeah, yeah. get back here. And there was a journalist, a Sunday Times journalist called Louise Callahan, and I remember mm. her pieces at the time, and she said she spoke to lots of girls who were saying, oh, you know, we were tricked, we... think." And, and Louise Callahan said they were lying through their teeth, mm. that these girls were jihadis mm. and they supported ISIS. Mm. And, and Begum herself, I remember she said something once, she said... She said that she thought beheadings and all that, that was normal yeah, yeah. for Islam. Oh, she and, thought and, that was And that she was okay. wasn't even prepared to say how despicable the Manchester bombings were. I mean, no. she is unbelievable. This is a terrorist, Nigel Nelson, and, and you want her back. You yeah, want I, her back in this country. I Why? wouldn't say I want her back. What I do think is she has a right to be back, but she's a British citizen. Well, she's also a Bangladeshi citizen. But she's not. This is, this is, uh, uh, the, she is. No, she's not. She has the she, right to be. She has the right to be, and Bangladesh doesn't want her because she hasn't got dual citizenship. So... What we should be doing is she's a British citizen. That's what she is at the moment. It was, it was, we should be following, the, following the, the, the lead of America, Germany, and other eight countries. I think Finland's sent back, um, got back 35 of their people. Uh, Denmark's got 90 Yeah, and believe me, back. taking back ISIS bribes and when it is comes down politically to the, the, the security issue, much better to have her in this country where no, we can keep an eye on her. No, because Rather than being that. in a Nigel, camp where she'll be radicalised. Nigel, am I... Well, she can do what she likes over in Syria. MI5 no, here, here. here are already monitoring between three and 4,000 extremists. She is going to be another one. If she gets back here, she's going to be unemployable. This government and the British people are going to have to pay for her for the rest of her well, life. She may end up she on wants, trial. She wants to come back here and have a normal life. Yeah, when the death cold ISIS didn't work out. So she wants but to come back But she could well here. be on trial. And for what sort of example does it set, Belinda and Lucy, what sort of example does it set to other young teenagers who might be thinking of joining one of these radical groups if they know, oh, if it goes wrong, we can just do a begum oh, and get yeah. back. What it says is that to all the British Islamists out there, and there are quite a few, go off and fight for a terrorist organisation that enslaves, murders, rapes, and you'll come back and get off scot-free because what really sticks in my throat about this is that this, the Islamist apologists, always on the left, always on the left, are saying, oh, we need to offer this girl compassion. No. They never talk about the Yazidis, not once. Well, the I crimes of ISIS against the Yazidis ZD people are not theirs to forgive. Mm. It's not mine to forgive. Right. They're not yours no, but to I'm forgive. Sorry, but they, and they, I agree with that completely. But what about on the victims? Soil. But what about the victims of the Manchester Arena bombing? Oh, the, I mean, I mean, there are victims yeah. of ISIS right here around the time this, this, that she was in no, the death cult. No ISIS fighter or anyone involved no. in ISIS should step a f on on any British soil and you, until they've until they've stood trial in Syria and they've looked those Yazidi victims in the eye and those Yazidis have seen justice. What people on the left want is for those poor just, uh, Yazidi victims to see no justice at all because when they come back here, the burden of proof is too high. They do not get get justice you, in this country. They do, you won't remember, be do you remember in this country when uh, when all this was happening, when the ISIS thing was to decide, this government made it perfectly clear. They said anyone who leaves this country to go and fight for ISIS will never 
yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. return. Not they, if they're, yeah, a, British, not if they're British citizens, but, but they have a right what, to return. No, she doesn't. She, yeah. when, you go, when you go and your, 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 your aim is to destroy the West and to destroy this country, do, do not expect to come back into this country and live courtesy of the taxpayers. Yeah. No, but she's our responsibility. She's not, because no. her citizenship... The Home Office made a decision to reverse this, to, well, to rescind the citizenship. national no, law, well, it left her stateless. Well, she's well, no. not stateless. She, she, she can go, she can go and get apply to Bangladesh. They won't have her. Yeah. <laughs> well, then they're tough. They're you trying know every excuse under the sun, like, oh, we're only being harsh on her because she's Muslim. Well, Jack Letts, a.k.a. Jihadi John, a white, yeah. uh, Oxford-born British boy, got his citizenship removed when he joined ISIS. Cool. It's got nothing to do yeah. with her race. Exactly. She's a threat but, you know, to there are some, security. There are some decisions that you make, and no matter what age you make them, they are so big, they are so catastrophic, yeah. that you're just going to have Absolutely. to live with them. Exactly. She's one of them. But also, we have to set the right example to yes. other potential young terrorists in this country.